Hello everyone, Seraphin here. Welcome back for more Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. In this today's episode, we're moving on to chapter 21, Kinship's Bond. So apparently we are on our way to meet with Marquis Ostia, Lord Uther, who is Hector's brother. I don't know how we just kind of warped all the way over here suddenly. So we're passing through Laos, not quite making it to Ostia. We're going a little bit past Ward there. Word? I don't know. You don't get to see too much of these other territories. Obviously we were in Laos for all, but Thraya, Word, Riard. I don't even know. We don't get to see too many of those. So we're meeting Lord Uther in a fortress between Ostia and Thria. What have we here? Oh, this is an intrigue chat. A little intrigue a little bit here. Who are all these folks? We well, recognize Sony, of course, and Jafar. If you didn't before, there he is. Ursula. That's the blue-haired chick there. Lloyd. And Linus. Those are the Four Fangs. The Four Fangs are the most powerful members of the Black Fang, barring the leader, Brendan himself. By the way, that's him over there on the right. So, Brendan there is the leader of the Black Fang, and the Four Fangs are the four most powerful members of the Black Fang. They're all highly trained, very dangerous assassins. And here is Sonya telling everybody that uh, we need to go kill Elderwood. Well, yes, yes it is. By the way, if you're familiar with Ursula from playing Heroes, you'll notice she's not anywhere near as uh, exaggerated as she is in her official appearance in this game which I prefer. I think they went a little over the top with her art in Heroes. Not, and for a number of reasons, by the way. I actually don't really care for her art all that much in Heroes. Or her voice. Her voice does not match how she looks. So Lloyd and Linus are brothers. I don't know if you can tell from their matching trench coats. Uh, they're also the sons of Brendan Reed, so that's Lloyd and Linus Reed. Oh yeah, Sonya's totally shacking up with him to get close to him. Sonya can be described best. She, she looks really, like, not all that impressive right now, but her official artwork basically tries to paint her as, like, a seductress. That's exactly her role at this point, basically. How dare you speak to my brother that way? Linus would absolutely destroy her. Lloyd and Linus are actually some of my favorite characters from this game. The, the, the sad part of reality, they fall into an archetype in other Fire Emblem games. If you're familiar with the, uh, well, here's the fun thing. I used to call it the Camus archetype, but I guess it's pronounced Camu or Camu. At any rate, he is, I just noticed they have matching earrings on. Like, not on the lobes of their ears, but like on the, t holy crap, how did I never notice that before? I've been playing this game for 15 years and I never had a clue. Anyway, where, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So they are they fulfill an archetype called the Camus archetype meaning that they are enemy characters that you encounter begrudgingly um, they're not really technically your enemies but they fight because of some misplaced sense of loyalty and sadly no you cannot recruit either of them which sucks because they're both amazing characters they're, they're very well written characters as well and they're both incredible warriors in their own right but Sadly, we will not be able to recruit them at any point. It's a little bit of a spoiler, I know, but... It's not, it's not that far away, by the way, that we'll be encountering one of them. Yes, Lord Uther is on his way here. Kind of interesting. He's capable of sneaking out of the castle like that without anybody knowing, isn't he? Isn't it his kind of his role to be on the throne all the time for like court matters and whatnot? I guess Hector's good at sneaking out, so I guess his brother should be too. Oh, 
And Nils passes out. Don't yell at her. Just gonna let him sleep on the floor like that? Of course. What is with that dude's hair? So these are, I don't know, they mentioned it briefly, but there is a mercenary unit loyal to House Laos that is, that's who these guys are. So they're more or less, like, they're not freelance mercenaries, they're obviously very loyal to one house, so they're almost like a splinter militia. But they're very good at what they do. Oh, well that would explain it. Then what are they doing so close to Ostia? Suddenly we're flooded with dudes. Man, you guys need to work on your guarding. If they're already inside, give me a break. Protect Nils, don't let anyone know. So we have another defense mission, I love these. This is actually a really fun map. So, Ella Wood, Lynn, and Hector are all forced deployments for this map, which is fine, we just don't want to use them necessarily. Uh, we get a couple extra people. I might need to bring Sarah just for the extra healing, although, no, I need to bring Nini in. Whoops, and I just goofed that up. Definitely need to bring Nini in, she's too valuable for this. Everybody else is fine. Ken still has his Night Crest, so we're going to promote him, hopefully, this round. Uh, I am going to give Hector an Iron Axe in case he's forced to fight. Or I could give him a Steel Axe instead. He's plenty big enough, he can handle that, right? Con 13, that's pretty good. Uh, Dart's probably going to need a new axe, so his is looking a little ragged, so... He doesn't need that shine tone, that's for darn sure. Give him another iron axe, although I could give him a killer axe. Ooh, I like that idea better. Let's give him a killer axe. Uh, Matthew's still my resident thief. I don't need him and Legault, I don't think. So why don't I drop one of them and bring... Sarah instead. Alright. Uh, Nina's got everything she needs. Erx doesn't have a vulnerary. Let's get him one of those. Uh, Lego doesn't have one either. Should probably change that, considering I actually needed it last turn. I keep saying turn. What I mean to say is chapter. Florina doesn't need that quite yet. Well, she's getting there. Uh, we're gonna give that torch back and give him the shine tome. A little more punching power. Uh, that's a pretty good setup for her. Kent's got his knight crest. You know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna sound crazy, but trust me, it makes sense in a little bit here. I think everybody else is good. Alright, cool. So we have a defense map. Uh, Nils is going to show up right here. I don't know why he's not there right now. We need to defend him. Uh, there's quite a few of these guys. Not as many as I was expecting, but... Uh, you'll notice that uh, he's not here. Oh, but the boss is right here. An enemy paladin. He drops the spear. Spears are fantastic. This is the best thrown weapon in the game. It's quite powerful. Good hit rate. Weigh, doesn't quite weigh as much as you'd think it would. And it's got a 5% crit rate just on top of that. Not a lot of uses, but 
Anything worth stealing? Oh, another Night Crest! I won't be needing that. I can sell that one, maybe. Uh, these guys have door keys to crack open that treasure room, it looks like. Another thief I could steal a lockpick from, maybe? That'd be ideal. Um, so these guys, I thought, had Reaver weapons. I guess they don't. That's okay. I'm fine with that. We're gonna have Raven front and center, naturally. Uh, like I said, we're gonna leave Lynn and Hector way in the back, because I don't actually plan on using them. I really don't plan on using Ellawood either, so... Uh, Dark can be toward the front. We want Legol as close as he can to get over to this door as quickly as possible. Alright. We're gonna get one, maybe two promotions this turn, or this chapter, so that'll be fun. And I forget where Merlinus pops out at. Oh, suddenly there's green guys. Oh yeah, we get Isadora too, I forgot about her. Yes, I know. Please instruct me. So you'll, we'll meet Isadora real quick. Isadora is a pre-promoted paladin, much like Marcus. Uh, she looks pretty impressive on the surface here, a silver sword and a short spear. She also comes with an angelic robe. We like those. I haven't used mine yet, I don't think. However, uh, her A rank with swords and B rank with lances looks great too. Her stats, however, not all that impressive. In fact, uh, Kent is going to be blowing her out of the water as soon as he promotes. Also, her con of six is very bad for a paladin because she can't wield anything without speed loss. Uh, she has quite a bit of speed, but it's largely negated by her low constitution, and her hit points are not impressive either. So, we will not be using her. We're going to make use of Kent instead as our paladin, and he's going to promote very soon here. You'll see we also have some friendly green knights here. Uh, we do not get to command them. They will on their own, and they're useless. Let's put it... That's, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They're crap. They'll probably die very quickly. Um, something I forgot, however... I brought Leg Alt, but I did not bring the member card, because there is another secret shop right here. You'll see that one little random tile just kind of out of place there. That is a secret shop. I don't think it has anything good, anyway. I might check it out just for the sake of making sure, but... Uh, can I move Leg Alt somewhere where we can get there faster? I don't think so. We'll just have him move up, and then we'll send Raven over there with him. Uh, Dart's going to largely be guarding the front door. I get Oh, shoot, they have Ballistae. I forgot about that. That's going to be an issue. Especially for poor little Florina there. I wonder why they can't... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. I was like, why can't he go further than that? But he's, the Ballistas, they can't move him the certain turn they get in him, so... We definitely want to ride out there as quick as we can and knock those out, so let's do that. I don't want to be in range of that shaman, however. So right here we'll do it. Uh, I got Priscilla right here in case someone needs the heals. I want to make sure she's at a ballista range, actually, too. It's the last thing I need is for getting picked off really early. Uh, we'll send Dart. No, we're going to have Rebecca go and deal with that shaman. She's got decent enough resistance. Dart will be right next to her. have Lucius hang back for a little bit. We're basically gonna have all of our vulnerable units hang back for a minute until the Ballista is dealt with. So I don't want them all getting picked off immediately. I'll probably send Hector and Lin up just to make sure, but we'll have Isadora on guard duty since she's not going anywhere. And I see my objective is to defend for 11 turns, and that's I'm not gonna need nearly that much time. These guys are going to start breaking down walls and busting their way in here. Oh, good. And Rebecca should deal with this guy pretty adequately. Nicely done. Not quite a level. I was hoping she would. That's okay. Oh, jeez. But these mages. This is what happens when I don't pay attention to stuff. Oh, of course, and the ballista is going to poke at him too, or try to. It looks like, look like he's not going to succeed. 
And those use Oh, what do we got more here? More green guys. Hey, remember that guy? It's been a while. It's been a long darn while, actually. Uh, he comes with a light rune. Man, I got so many of these now. I did get him to level 10 during Lin's quest. He turned out okay. But sadly, he's just too far behind right now for, to, for me to bother with. Uh, that being said, Heath, however, is on this map. He's the crazy hair dude. He's got really good stats for a Wyvern Rider. He's only level 7. And he has a mine. You'll also notice he has an Axe Reaver. So we want to make sure we keep sword-wielding dudes away from him. I'm going to bust open this door so Raven can start wreaking havoc on people. Uh, if... If Heath is intelligent, he will stay away and just try to javelin everybody. And in order to get to him, I can recruit him, obviously, because he's an enemy and is a name that isn't a boss. I need to get Elwood down there as quickly as I can. It's going to mean I don't have him next to Ninian for a turn, but I think I can swing it. She's going to level up and get some much-needed defense. And then I can have Legault take out that enemy thief next Or steal his lockpick. That would be even better, because then he can't open the door. Or the chest. Well, he'll open the door regardless, but he won't be able to crack the chest open. And one of these chests has money in it, so if he steals it, I don't get to have it. Definitely want to make sure I get to that before he does. Otherwise, that will be bad. Alright, um, can I reach that ballista this turn? I can. Jeez. I don't want them all to go for Kent, because he's going to mow through them otherwise. Let's have Urk take out... Yeesh, I forgot they just busted this door down, too. I'm going to need to have somebody cover that. I'll probably put Dart there. I think he can handle anybody coming through that door. And we'll have Rebecca act as his backup. Skill, speed, luck. Okay, not bad. Oh yeah, Dart can handle whatever comes through there. I'll give him a hand axe just to make sure, just in case anybody with range comes at him. Once again, with the un man, Dart is the king of unnecessary critical hits. Alright, let's take out this nomad. I could just leave the Ballista be, although I'm pretty sure he's going to target Florina as soon as he gets a chance. Those things tend to hurt quite a bit. I think she can take a hit. I'd rather she didn't, if I'm being completely honest. That fighter can't reach her. You know what? I'm gonna gamble on it. And we'll have Kent take that ballista down next turn. I don't want Heath coming for him either, because he might kill Heath in an accident. That should put him to level 20, I hope. There we go. Maxed out Cavalier. And, well, how fitting. He only got HP. He gets his own promotion item. Wonderful. <laughs> that would have been amazing if I didn't already have one. Watch him pick up his own flippin' promotion item. Alright, once again, I'm gonna keep Priscilla out of the line of fire here. I might try to draw him out with Lucius. I don't think he's capable of one-shotting anybody. Problem is, I can't see the attack stats of the bow, of the Ballista. I don't think it goes... I don't think the strength from the unit himself adds to the damage. Because that wouldn't make a lot of sense if it did. But I don't actually know for certain, so I'm going to try to be careful here. I need to get my healers out of the way here. You know... Priscilla can... Mm, I don't want to risk her getting killed. Alright, we're just going to swing with what we got here now. I'll take the Ballista out next turn. And now, uh, Yubin's the boss down there. I believe he does move, so we need to make sure we're not immediately in range of him. Uh, Raven will happily and easily dispatch these poor suckers. 
Uh, uh, Heath, by the way, is incredible. He look he comes at a very low level and requires a little babying, but it will not be long before he's one of my best units. And he's actually going to be very invaluable during the next chapter, and you'll see why once we get there. It's going to be a little bit, but that's okay. Now, in Hector's version of this chapter, all of these enemies have Reaver weapons, so you kind of have to be prepared for reversing the triangle at almost every opportunity, because everybody will. Man, he's getting a lot of defense. I wasn't expecting that. Plenty of speed, thankfully, too. He needs that. It's kind of his niche, his strength and speed. He's an absolute wrecking ball. Especially after I promote him. Just wait till you see that. You're going to love it. I certainly do. He's going to go... F really? He's going to shoot with leg ult with the ballista? Alright, so that thief will kindly open the door for us. These mercenary guys that are coming as reinforcements are actually not bad. This cavalier in particular is a pretty solid guy. Uh, we need to get Wrath with, you guessed it, Lynn. How far can I get her? Down to this pillar, it looks like. That's close enough. And we'll talk to Wrath and recruit him back again. you desire it. I believe Wrath and Lin is actually the cannon pairing, which I don't like, because even though they're both Sakaian, yeah, I get it. Wrath's just kind of, like, cold and lacking a personality. It's kind of bland. I don't know. Judge me at your own peril, I guess. Alright, so we'll steal this guy's lockpick so he can't do anything. I don't want to try risking attempting to one-shot him, because I don't think Legault can do it anyway. Really? Resistance, of all things? Uh, Raven, on the other hand, I bet you can completely annihilate this guy. Oh yeah, without question. One ra one hit, even. I cannot wait to get Raven as a hero. You're gonna love that even more than Dart. And then we will talk to Heath with Elwood. He wishes to surrender. Why did you attack me, then? See, that's awfully trusting of them. Like, hey, uh, I'm the enemy and I'm gonna surrender and fight for you now. It's like, yeah, I don't know that I would buy that right away. Let's see if Heath can take down this ballista. Hey, he can. Look at that. I'm gonna use the javelin, actually. I don't want to waste the... Axe Reaver. And we're gonna need to, unfortunately, feed Heath kills as much as we can, although he's got really solid strength and defense for a level 7 unit. Might need to give him a speed wing, but I believe we've got at least one of those. Uh, I don't... No, Eubens doesn't move, obviously, because he would have gone for Kent if he could have. And the reinforcements are looking a little sparse here. Expecting more than this. Again, I'm so used to uh, Hector's quest with a lot more enemy density that this feels really pathetic to me, actually. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. In fact, I'm not thrilled about it at all. But I suppose it is what it is. Let's make sure Dart and Rebecca are still together here. And we're gonna promote Kent, because now is the time. He's not getting any... not getting any... you'll see his XP marker is uh, slashed out, meaning he can't get any more, so... You're going to promote Kent to a fantastic Paladin. And I love Paladins. Probably my favorite unit class in this whole game. Either that or Heroes. And he looks really solid with that bright red. Bam! Now he can use axes. He gets E rank in them, I believe, but. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, B rank in swords and lances and E with axes. Not bad. And you'll see he already is much better than Marcus was at this level. 
so this is definitely preferable. He has the same constitution as Marcus, it looks like. But, he's, yeah, he's gonna, his growths are also much better than Marcus's. So even if he wasn't quite as good as Marcus was at level 1, he's going to outgrow him anyway. So we'll put Dart over here. Oh, no, I want him next to Rebecca. That's right. Uh, Isidore is just chilling out up there. I think that's the whole round there. I'm hoping there's more reinforcements than just this pathetic little bunch here. Especially because I think those... Re oh, there we go. Okay, I spoke too soon. Let's have Legal open up some chests. 10,000 gold. Just what the doctor ordered. Again with the ballista. Wow, I totally keep missing these. I need to make sure that Heat's not in the range of that. So get shredded. Being a flying unit and all that. Probably should give him a more reasonable lance to use. In fact, I think I'll just give him Kent's Iron Lance. Since Kent really doesn't need it anymore. I'm gonna park Heath in the back, or not Heath, Wrath. I'm not planning on using him, so. Don't really need Lynn either. Uh, I think I am gonna rescue these guys because I don't want them getting in the way. forget who Heath supports with. I'll have to figure that out between now and whenever the heck. Alright. This chapter shouldn't take me too much longer, to be honest, so... I think what I'm gonna do... We're at about 27 minutes. I'm actually gonna call it here for right now. Uh, we'll pick up with the enemy phase next round, or next ch next episode, I should say, but this chapter's not going to last a whole lot longer. We can fit it in definitely within half an hour, so I'm going to call it for right now, but I'll pick you guys up in the next episode. Until that time, I appreciate you all very much for watching and sticking through this far, and we'll finish chapter 21 next time. Until then, this has been Seraphin. Have a good evening, everyone.